Hello, I'm Landon Copley, first a Christian, one who is justified by grace through faith in Christ and Him alone. But I'm also a husband to my beautiful wife, Lori. We've been married for seven years. And I'm a father to my beautiful but inquisitive daughter, Leighton. And she's two years old. We've lived, our family, we've lived in Olive Hill, Kentucky, for a little over two years, about two and a half years. And just to give you a reference to where Olive Hill may be, it's in the eastern part of the state of Kentucky. But we're about 30 minutes west of Ashland, Kentucky, and 25 to 30 minutes east of Moorhead, Kentucky. Um, I serve as the pastor of First Baptist Church of Olive Hill and have been doing that since we moved here, so about two and a half years. Uh, my wife is a teacher at the local middle school, West Carter Middle School. I obtained uh, a Bachelor of Arts in Pastoral Ministry at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College in Pineville, Kentucky, and I'm currently pursuing my Master of Divinity at the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary online. Uh, the emphasis is in Christian ministry. And, uh, you know, since I was a young child, a dream of mine, even before the Lord called me into ministry, a dream of mine had been to pursue my Ph.D. So the plan is, Lord willing, that after I finish my MDiv, I'll take a brief break and then uh, pursue that uh, Doctorate of Philosophy then. When I'm not acting in any of those previous roles, which takes up the majority of my time, I enjoy reading and writing. I love sports, baseball, uh, the Chicago Cubs. Um, I root for the tennis, uh, sorry, not the Tennessee Titans. I root for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, for those of you that are in Kentucky and uh, are Reds fans because of the proximity of them being in Cincinnati, I root for the Reds, but they're in the same division as the Cubs, so not when they're playing the Cubs. Uh, I enjoy football. As you can see from the helmets behind me, I'm a Kentucky Wildcats football fan and also a Tennessee Titans football fan. Uh, basketball, I enjoy that much on the local high school level. I don't really get into... Um, it's hard for me to keep up with college basketball, but I don't really get into professional basketball. But my father-in-law is a local high school basketball coach, so we go to a lot of those games in the winter. I also host a podcast called Commonwealth, and the premise of this podcast is to highlight the wealth of life that Kentuckians possess through common means, and those common means could include things like faith and family and friendships and community, heritage, and much more. So if that interests you, you can actually find my podcast on all major and minor podcast platforms by simply typing in common wealth. It's two different words, common wealth podcast. Um, my story of how I came to faith is a unique one. Uh, I was actually attending the University of Kentucky. As you can tell, I'm still a big fan. Um, and I was studying and pursuing a degree in architecture. And I had spent much of my middle school and my high school career uh, preparing to go to school to be an architect, but the Lord had other plans, and in his providence, he used my wife, Lori, to um, convert me uh, as a part of his kingdom, and I came to faith in Christ through the testimony and work of my wife, and uh, the Lord used my wife to call me into ministry, and the Lord used my wife to send me to Bible college, and I mean, I I could just go on and on and on how the Lord has used her in just a remarkable way to really turn my life upside down and to put me on a course um, in line with the kingdom and where I am now. I haven't had a ton of experience in mission work. Um, when I was a youth pastor, I did youth ministry for four years before I became the pastor of First Baptist Olive Hill. I would organize small mission trips here within the state. We took one, uh, we did a mission trip to New York um, for relief efforts from the hurricane. And we did some mission trips to South Carolina and so forth. But recently I did have the privilege to go with a mission team from Ashland, Kentucky uh, called Amy for Africa. 
and I traveled 30 plus miles to Uganda, Africa, and got to share the gospel with Muslims, and got to preach in two churches in Africa, both uh, dynamically different. One was a, a rural church and was very much influenced by the African culture, and the other one was a more westernized church in the town of Jinja, and uh, while the other church were singing uh, Christian songs that would align more with their heritage, um, this church in Jinja, the town church that had been planted actually by someone in Ashland, Kentucky, they were singing some contemporary songs and um, I guess some modern hymns. Uh, perhaps that's the best way to put that. I'm not sure. Anyway, some music that we would here in our churches in America. But it was a unique experience, and I hope to get to go back soon. One of my biggest hesitations in going back is simply the travel. Uh, the 30 plus hours was really difficult for me. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but I just, it was hard. Um, of course, going and then coming back, uh, you know, 60 hours of travel is, uh, it's just, it's exhausting to me. But uh, Lord willing, I'm hoping to put that aside here in the near future. And when COVID and this pandemic um, were able to get on the other side of that, I hope to be back in Uganda. Anyways, I'm looking forward to our time together in the introduction to missiology. I'm looking forward to learning and growing and just our conversations together. So uh, God bless you all. I'm praying for you. Thank you so much. Uh, ahead of time for your interactions that we have through this class.